With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West. Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? Well, we call this Apaches Don't Need Guns. It began one evening when we were camped near Fort Los Alamos, Arizona. California and I had delivered a herd of beef to the San Carlos Indian Reservation and were headed back to the Bar 20. That night after dinner, we were washing our tinware with sand. I noticed that California was more on edge than usual. Hoppy, <clears throat> I don't like it. I feel plum crawly thinking about that Nagodo and his mescaleros taking the war path. Well, I'm not exactly happy to have Apache so close, but the fort's only 20 miles away and it's nearly dark. Apaches hate the fight in the dark. Sure, but just the same, the hair in the back of my neck feels like it's going to stand up. <laughs> well, there. I'm done. Give me your plate and I'll put them away. California, quiet. Wait. Something's moving. Engines. I'll get my long gun. Douse the fire. No, wait. There's one man coming toward us. There he is. Puppy, is he drunk? Uh, hello there. Come on and sit. An arrow on his back. Get out beyond the firelight and see if he was followed. Right. Uh, didn't penetrate very deep. Well, no wonder. Two wrappings of buffalo hide. Must be an Indian fighter, a scout. Uh, no sign out here, Hoppy. He must have lost them in the dark. Is he uh, going to cash in? No, if I can get this barb out of him. Slice one of those flat cactus pads and toss it to me. Sure, I'm standing in the mess of them. I'll sterilize my knife and the flames. Uh, there. Here's the cactus pad. Good. Stay out there and keep your eyes peeled. Now, easy does it, fella. This will hurt a little. <laughs> easy. Easy. It'll be over in a second. Now, hang on. <coughs> oh, there it's out. I just lie quiet. I had to cut the outside of this cactus pad away like this. I had to stop that wound with it. There. Mm. Thanks, mister. I... Shh. I just rest. All I have to do is bind it. Well, here goes my clean shirt. Is... Is it bad? No, you lost some blood, that's all. Here. All right. Yeah, that does it. California, come back and help pack. We'll have to take this man to the fort tonight. It's too risky in the daytime. Oh, I sure hate to face that saddle again. You won't be facing it, California, but stop fretting. There's something stranger for you to worry about. Yeah? What's that? Why in the middle of Apache country I dig a Pawnee arrow out of this man's back? <laughs> Now back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Apaches Need No Guns. California's camp was entered by a scout with a Pawnee arrow in his back, although it is Apache country. After taking the arrow out of him, Hoppy and California carry the wounded man to Fort Los Alamos that same night. But it is slow riding, and daylight finds them still not quite to the fort. Oh, my, my. Hoppy, if we don't get there quick, I'll die. What's the matter, this riding giving you a headache? I get an ache, all right, but it ain't in my head. <laughs> How's the patient? Uh, what she say your name was? Breen. Jody Breen. Scout for, for Major Pincarrow. Scout, huh? Well, uh, you want to hear about the time I, I tangled with the coaches and a hundred brave single-handed? <laughs> Weren't they afraid of you? Well, sure they was. They, they, no, no, Hoppy, darn it. Now, don't do that to me. Now, <laughs> now where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I was surrounded by a hundred... Uh, 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 what's that? Fort. 
Oh, now, now, don't waste any words, eh? Just what is... Green it? means the fort is over the next hump. And stop gabbing. Friend. Uh, who's gabbing? Uh, was like this, Breen. I was surrounded by these two hundred engines. Where's the patrol? Well, speak up. Patrol jumped. Cactus Rock. Pawnees. All killed but me. Pawnees. Really, Breeden. This is Apache country, remember? Don't tell it to me. Tell it to those Pawnees. Breeden, come inside. I want your report. You two wait at the post store over there. I'll send for you in an hour. Well, uh, thanks. Come on, California. Yeah, you go ahead, Hoppy. I'll see to the horses first. Right. Stranger, say, wasn't that uh, Breen you brought in? Yeah, my name's Cassidy. The store open? Yeah, sure is. I'm Gannon, the storekeeper. Morning, inside. Hey, I've heard about a gunslick called Cassidy. Uh, Hopalong is uh... just talk. I'm no gunslinger, but my name's Hopalong. Well, yeah, maybe, but you've quite a reputation as a fast draw. <laughs> I can't wait till you cross my Latimer's path. <laughs> I'm looking for no trouble, Gannon. Don't stir up any. Oh, not me, Cassidy. Not me. I'm a coward, I am. Yeller, clear to my boot heels. Who's this uh, Vi Lattimore? Uh, Vi Lattimore heads a tough outfit that's mostly gunmen. Now, of course, I ain't saying right out that it's a crooked one. Just being uh, right smart, Gannon. <laughs> Vi. Name's Miss Lattimore to you. And hear me out, friend. I wear guns because I run a tough outfit. And I run a tough outfit because it's a hard country hereabouts. But it's straight. Savvy? Oh, oh yes, Miss Lattimore. I savvy. Good. The only reason I'm not boring you is because I'm not what you gave this stranger a hunch I was. Stranger, I'm by Lattimore. I like your looks. You look straight and you don't blink. I reckon those guns are for use, not brag. You seem to have cut my trail, Miss Lattimore. I'm looking for no quarrel, as I just told Gannon here. Call me Vi. I take it friendly you don't agree with Red Nose here. Oh, Vi, my dear young lady. I've been looking for you. Howdy, Walker. Decided not to sell, so adios. No, no, wait. Now, wait. <laughs> oh, there's no need for us to be so brief. Maybe you'll change your mind. I represent a lot of money, my dear. Lots of ranches around here will get some of it. Not me. I'm not selling. So forget it. <clears throat> uh, well, very well, Vi, but now let's have a drink over it, shall we? Take your hand off my arm. Oh, look, now, I see here. At least you can be friendly. Walker, the lady doesn't want your company. You better go. You stay out of my affairs, cowboy. And you, Vi, come along. Let go of me. That's enough. Walker, get out and don't bother again. The lady doesn't drill you. I'm likely to. Why, why, you wouldn't draw on an unarmed man, would you? No, but I would on a man wearing a hideout under his arm. Out. Now stay back. Get away from me. That's right. Keep backing. Or go for that rod you're carrying. Back. Gannon, open that door for the gentleman. Right out the door. Keep backing. Oh, Walker. What is it? No. Watch out for that step. Oh, too bad you missed. Maybe that'll teach you to be more careful, Walker. Treat a lady like a lady. I'll fix you for this, you, you saddle bum. Thanks. You saved me from boring that skunk. The way I'll bore you, Gannon, if you talk about me again. Well, I won't say a word, I swear it. Uh, trouble, trouble. This post is just trouble. First, someone starts selling guns to the Apaches. Guns? Who'd sell guns to Apaches? Well, how do I know? Whoever's doing it must be crazy. Well, they might hurt somebody. Apaches sure don't need guns. Hey, what's that? Well, looks like the troop is pulling out. Well, that looks like the whole regiment. Major Pencara's not leaving the fort any protection at all. Sure, it's a... Oh, my gracious. I'm going to pack. We'll all be scalping our heads. Hey, Hoppy, do you see them soldiers? That Nagoro's going to get a lesson he ain't wants. Yeah, I saw him. Come on, California. Sure, sure, but uh, what's the big rush? You'll see. Major Pancaro. Uh, what is it, Cassidy? Make it brief. I don't mean to interfere, but aren't you leaving the fort shorthanded? Why, you young poppin' jay. 
I'm in command here, and I'm sick of you Westerners whining about a handful of savages. I intend ridding this country of them for good. That's why I sent the regiment out. The Indians are west of here, not in the fort. West? But Breen was jumped in the east. Uh, a stray raiding party of Pawnees. Nothing to bother about. My other scouts found a big Apache party to the west. Lieutenant Stone will engage it and destroy it. Uh, California, get our horses saddled. Now what do you think you're going to do? Scout the territory east of here. And you better pray, Major. If those Pawnees are in force, your fort is in grave danger. <laughs> You think this is kind of dangerous for us? Uh, we don't know this country. That's uh, dangerous. Well, don't you think it'd be wiser to hit back for the fort? Probably. We might get scalped if we stay here. Possibly. Then let's turn around and burn leather. No, look ahead. There to the right. Uh, 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 smoke signals. Let's get out of here. Not until we've taken a look-see. Come on, up around that big rock. We can look down on them from there. Stay here. I'll ease down on foot. You'll do what? Come now, Hoppy. Don't be an idiot. I'll come with you. Oh, look. Engines. Millions of engines. Not millions, but enough. Pawnees and Apaches. There must be at least 200 warriors. California hit the dust for the fort. They had to be warned. Sure, but you don't mean uh, you're going to see. Go on, ride. Tell Major Pencarrow that Nagoda is here and to prepare for immediate attack. I savvy a little Apache lingo. I'm going to visit that camp after dark and find out their plan. But plans. that's certain death. If you get caught, ill. I'll save a shot for myself. Now go on, high Taylor. Sure, sure, I'm a going, but but, uh, but in case I... Uh, I uh, oh, heck. Uh, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know, California. That's why we're partners. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Apaches Don't Need Guns. When Major Pencaro sent the entire force of Fort Los Alamos to engage Apaches to the west, Hoppy and California scouted to the east and discovered Nagodo and 200 Apache and Pawnee warriors preparing for war. As Hoppy stayed to try a daring venture of spying in the Indian camp, California races to warn the fort. Major Pencaro, engines, thousands of them. Get the fort ready for attack. Hoppy said... Wait, you... wait. You're out of order, Carlson. You didn't even knock. Knock? Knock? I'll say that twice about those Indians. I'll say it twice. I'll say it three times. I'll whistle it, you hammer-headed gent. Are you deaf? Get the fort ready and fight and shake. But are you positive? The Apaches are to the west of here. Uh, well, there's Nagoda and 200 of them, counting some Pawnee pals doing a war dance less than 10 miles east. And I'll give you a hunch they ain't doing that war dance for exercise. Yes, yes. Perhaps you're right. Would be terrible if I'd been mistaken. Uh, my record. Your re to blazes with your record. There's women and kids here. All right, stable your horse. Tell Sergeant Dolson there to bring his squad to me immediately. Right, Major. Corporal Stein? Yes, sir. Open the armory. Issue guns to every man in the fort. Johnson? Get to the guardhouse. All prisoners to be released and back on duty at once. Adams? Yes, sir. Gather all the women and children in the blockhouse. Quick, man! All civilians to report to me without delay. Hurry! Attention! Soldiers and civilians, where does come that this fort is under danger of possible attack? An attack that will outnumber us badly. Sergeant Olson will command the defense of the walls. Private Adams, that of the gate. Private Johnson will take eight men and defend the blockhouse. Corporal Stein, you will select five marksmen and act as roving defense, going where needed most. Your women will load guns in the blockhouse. There will be no reliefs until the danger of attack is over. That's all. Go to your post. Carlson. Here, Major. 
I just want you to know that if this is a false alarm, I'll see to it that... Uh, anything more, Major? Get to your post. Right. Welcome to the party, amigo. Here's to you, Redskin. Yeah. Uh, hey, doggone. See, ain't you a woman? According to all reports, but I can shoot better than these men here, Boats. Hey, where's your partner? I wish to know. Just wish I had my crew here. They'd sure be handy. Well, look it. They're backing off. Run, darn you. Well, reckon they didn't aim to find us waiting for them. They'll be back. Sure mess of them out there. Yeah, I, I re- reckon Hoppy got... Uh, I hope he saved that bullet. He seemed a right smart hombre. Reckon he did. Or did he? What? Look, there. Some fool's trying to bust through their lines and get to us. A bunch and of engines. making it. Look at him. A bunch of engines chasing Cover them in. California. Get him, gal. Adams, unlock the gate for that man. Look at that hombre. Ride. He's going to make it. Ride, cowboy. Ride that trunk. <laughs> the engines are running back. Happy made it. Happy. Back to your posts, everyone. Cassidy, that was a magnificent ride. I compliment you. Hoppy. Uh, uh, am I glad to see you in one piece? Thanks, California. Major, I have bad news. Let's take care of those Indians first. Ah, uh, that's just it. That group was only half of Nagoda's forces. You were right. There are Apaches of the Western heading this way. Apaches plus a few straggling bunches of Sioux and Comanches that have jumped their reservations. Cassidy! You know what you're saying? Only too well. Nagoto is trying to gather all Indian tribes under his banner. Plans to take over this section, then join Geronimo. And then to take over all of Arizona, then the... Why, this is ghastly. We can't stand off this war party out there, much less another party from the West. Uh, your regiment has probably made contact with the Indians West. If we can hold out here, they may come back to the fort. But, man, there's only 32 men left here. Not that many after that first attack. We're outnumbered eight to one. I'd hoped it wasn't that bad. And it may be several days before your regiment can return. Well, Major Pencarrow, I hope you see how wrong you were. We'll all be slaughtered in here without a chance. Those Indians are using new Winchesters, not bows and arrows. Ah, uh, you'll speed up the slaughter if you don't get back to your post. Four attacks. We can't stand many. Bullets? Bullets, anyone? Gannon, yeah. Drop a couple of boxes of forty five for me. Give me a one to thirty thirty. Not carrying any knives, are you? This next attack may be close quarters. Yep, in my hip pockets. Help yourself. Miss Lattimore, what's for you? I reckon I could do with some thirty eight cartridges. Ah, uh, for a coward, you stand up right well, Gannon. Well, the past day and a half's kind of made me a reformed coward, Cassidy. I figure if I got to die anyhow, may as well die like a blamed hero. Bullets! Hey, anybody want to play? Hey, Gannon, Rick, you can call me by now. Well, I'll be doggone. Battle just funny things to folks. Yeah, makes a man look inside himself. Hey, what's Walker doing down in the compound? Look, California. Well, I'll be switched. He's saddling the horse. I the way he thinks he's going. I guess he's riding for help. I'll get down and see. Hey, Walker, if you're riding for help, my horse is faster. Help? Don't be a fool. I'm getting out of here. Those Indians are using new Winchesters, and we can't win. You can play a hero if you want, but I'm saving my neck. I see. You'll never make it, you know that... I'll make it. It's nearly dark, and after dark I can get through. That fool Pencaro hadn't sent the troop out, but he did. Only I'm not paying for it. Not me. Looks like we got till morning for the attack, Hoppy. The must plan and making it a good one. Uh, it'll be a bad one. Uh-oh. There goes Walker. The darn yeller coyote I ought to plug him herself. That's his choice. But they'll be waiting for him. That's why Major Pencarrow hasn't sent a man for help. And to think that polecat wanted to be a western rancher. Tally one coward. I tried to warn him. He should have stayed brave. Hey, Cassidy... Can I speak to you? Of course, Major. What is it? Uh, you saw what happened to Walker? It wouldn't have happened if you hadn't let him out. I couldn't force him to stay. He was a civilian. But what I started to say was, is there no way we could save the women and children? 
Could we sneak them out the rear? But that's impossible. The Indians are expecting that very thing. I see. Well, I was just hoping that you... Major. Major Pancaro. Carry one major. Take over Cassidy. Harpy. Is he... uh... Yeah. Well, he was a fuss and feather soldier. But as a man, he'd do to ride the river with. He sure would. But now what? Uh, Do we just wait for it? We do not. I've been thinking... Notice how Agoto and his war chiefs always lead every attack on that gate? Why, yeah, yeah, they bunch up ahead of the others. Next time they attack, we're letting them in. We, huh? Hoppy, uh, you're off Listen, your rocker. Listen, Agoto and his right-hand men are the leaders and spirit of this battle. If we can get rid of them, the others will scatter. I want to take every man able to swing a shovel and start building a pair of walls from that gate. Hoppy, you better lie Wait. down. You... I want a long, high wall shoot formed like a funnel from that gate so when we let them in... They'll be forced in one or two at a time. Uh, shoot, uh, you mean like we drive cattle through in Brandon? Right, only too high for him to climb over. We'll let Nagoda and his war chiefs in, slam the gate behind them, and... Hoppy, then... we can't pull enough men off in the walls to fight them hand to hand. There'll be a dozen in that lead bunch. That's the point of the shoot. One man at the end of it. Working two guns can take them as they come through. That's my job. Oh, no, Hoppy, they'd massacre you. That's a gamble. We'll have to take it. The big thing is to make sure they don't suspect the trap, and that the rest of the men drive off this one attack. So tonight, while the shoot is being built, four men will stay on the walls, running back and forth, shooting from different loopholes to make it appear more. And for driving off the attack from the walls tomorrow? Every woman able to handle a gun. Every wounded man able to pull the trigger. I want all of them on the walls by daybreak. It's their only hope. Hoppy. It's daybreak. Want to call the men? Yeah, it's about time. Everyone on the walls, break out all the ammunition, Gannon. Knives and axes to each man. Instruct all the women to save one shot for themselves in case they fail to stop the attack. Same for the children. I'm on my way. Right, Cassidy. Mr. Hoppy, that shoot ain't very long. About 50 feet. That'll have to do. Hand me that box of shells, will you? I'll bring it with me. What? That shoot there's wide enough for two engines to come in at once. Reckon there ought to be two of us ready to drop them. Sure, but you... Ain't sir. no use arguing with a woman, don't you know that? <laughs> you need a sidekick in that shoot, and I reckon I qualify as the best two-handed gunslinger around here. Uh, after you, sir. Well, looks as if they're getting ready to come at us, Gannon. Yeah, I wish I could shoot better. I give you a scatter gun. With it, you just point, fool, and pray. Hey, uh, one thing, how are we going to be sure that only Nagoto and his chiefs get through that gate? Well, just as soon as they get inside, the boys will slam the gate shut. And to make sure they have time, you aim that scattered gun into the engines follow them. We'll slow them enough. Hey, here they come. Look at them run. Hold it with that gun. Wait for the time. Wait. No! Let them have it! Nagoto's bunch is inside! <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. Hoppy, I still can't believe it. We licked them. Uh, When they saw we finished in a go to one of the chiefs, the rest ran like jackrabbits. But don't ever take a chance like that again. That worked. And I'm not hurt bad, so stop pacing. Not hurt bad? He says, two knife wounds in your shoulder, a slug in your leg, not to mention a couple of creases. Uh, uh, What would you call bad? A coffin? How's by? Oh, she's all right. Just a couple of scratches. Hi there. Bet you two don't know what I hid from a wounded engine. Yeah, you heard that Walker sold the guns to Nagoto, so the Apaches would go on the warpath, wipe out the ranches around here, and give him a chance to buy the spreads for a song afterwards. Well, bust me. Sure, that's it. You'll steal my thunder. <laughs> Sorry, Vi, I guessed it before. These Indians in this country are too poor to pay much of a profit on those guns. That meant a man with another motive, which was Walker. He gave himself away when he knew what kind of guns the Apaches had. Well, his plan backfired, and he got his comeuppance from his own treachery. Bandages? Bandages, anyone? Whiskey. Whiskey? For uh, medicinal purposes, of course. Howdy, Gannon. You did a brave job of fighting. And I bring news. Lieutenant Stone sent a rider in. Their regiment met and defeated the Apaches to the west. Uh, 
Did you say I was brave, sir? <laughs> I did, sir. And I want you to know, sir, that I am a reformed hero. Bravery is too nerve-wracking. I am and always will continue to be a self-respecting coward. Oh, yeah? Back to your post. The Indians are coming. What? Where's my scat? I got all slaughtered. I... Uh, I've been tricked. <laughs> <laughs> That was a mighty close call for Hoppy. But Hoppy's usual quick thinking shows that even the treacherous Apaches can be outsmarted with or without guns. In next week's thrilling story, Hoppy and California set out to trap a killer and prove once again that a dog is a man's best friend, especially when the man is the victim of a shot in the dark. Up Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Apaches Don't Need Guns was written by Herb Purdom with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>